Well, hello Cyberland, this is Marlin. The channel is Old Fart Hacks, and today we are going to go on with the ongoing fight to find an OXA tool post that will actually be usable. This one is from Shars. I just got it in after waiting a week more than Amazon said it would take. Uh, that's another story in itself. Drove me nuts. I called them up and said, where is it? And they said, well, they've been pack they're packaging it. And they packaged it for more than a week. Then they finally got around to shipping it. But anyway, with that said, shall we proceed? This will be a true unboxing. I haven't been inside this box yet myself, so we'll see. Shars is supposed to be a better company, so we'll see what we get here. So, step one, number one, get a cutting tool and open package. Handy dandy knife. Stabity stab, cutty to cut, hackity hack, all that good stuff. That should be good enough to get this thing open. So let's see what we got. We have brown paper. Ooh, isn't that special? And inside the brown paper, we have a box. I'm so excited. Ow. So, now that we have the first box out, we ship this box over the left shoulder. And we are left with a Shars with a shiny laser label and a part number. And I would say it opens up here. So let's start. Attack. The attack of the killer tomatoes. Well, the 25000 box itself, which is the tool post holder, as you can see right here, is poking out. That's fun. Okay, anyway, we have holder 250001, your regular turning facing tool post holder, 250002, which is a turning facing also, but if memory serves me, this has a groove on the bottom which you grab roundish toolbars. A 007. A 0010. And this will be a 004. I've unboxed enough of these that I now know these things. But what I'm really interested in is this. Ah, inner box. Left shoulder. Okay. Anyway, so let's just set these... Eh, over yonder for a while. Let's open up the thing that concerns me and where I've had all the problems in the past. The zero, zero, zero. Well, not all the problems. That first tool post holder was an absolute nightmare. This, the rest have been less nightmarish. And here we have... It's a certificate. We here with guarantee... Let's see. Let's see if I'm reading this right. Chinese is such so fun. We hear with guarantee that this product has been tested and qualified and meets all the requirements of the relative standards by inspector number five, date 2021, 20, I guess. 1029. So it's a certified tool post holder or tool post. So let's see. Well, there's the post. I assume that's the handle. I won't throw this over my shoulder because that would be a pain in the rump to pick up. We'll just set it over to the left. Well, that seems to rotate. So that gives me enough encouragement to at least open the package.
here's the head for the tool post handle. It's just a pure piece of plastic. The threads are threaded inside. And here is the tool post itself. Baggy we can put over there. The little nut here is loose, which is fine and dandy. That's just going to get tightened down later when, you, when we mount it. But let's go ahead and unscrew with all this stuff. And I think the stud is actually coming out faster than the uh, nuts coming off the stud. Yes, indeed it did. And oily, so let's get a, another little paper towel out here and wipe off the excess. Let's see, get rid of the excess. Thread's just a little rough there, especially out toward the end. The running the nut on and off chase that seems to have, so they probably have, and yeah, not too bad. The burr seems to be reasonably well broken. I don't feel any thoroughly sharp edges there. That's good. Overall, so far, it seems to be better quality than any I've seen. Nut came off. And yes, I do like, well, oiled things for shipping, but I don't like them after they're installed. I do just keep enough oil or lubricant on them to uh, keep them from rusting. So there's the nut, the post. By the way, you want to know how oily that was? Take a look. The threads are a little sharp there. Didn't quite properly rechase them, but eh, still inside acceptable. Sorry about bumping the camera. The It's quite close. That's interesting. That's on a center. So I would say they're actually turning these on a center because there's a center hole here. They may be actually using a center as they turn and thread these. Interesting. That's actually smooth. Smooth. At least it felt smooth for a second. Let me get the excess oil off this bottom plate. That's also much heavier than a lot of the other bottom plates, and it's more cleanly machined. Overall, I'm much more impressed. This goes up and down smoothly. Well, Shars gets... A brownie point. This is actually acceptable. The first one I've touched that is. Okay, let's look at the bottom here. The uh, problem with all of these that I've gotten prior has been the shoulder bolt right here which starts here and of course ends up right here. And this traps this ring which is a cam a ring it's essentially a cam body it's got a sp set of spiral grooves that you've seen me take these apart before if you watch my previous videos so you'll see what i'm talking about there anyway the edges are a little sharp but they'll wear they'll smooth out They could have deburred there. There's a sharp. These edges are sharp. They really should be deburred. But again, you know, it's not a loris. It's less than a loris. But those move much better. The surfaces here are actually machined, which is something I've not seen on the other ones I've gotten. Oh yeah, much better quality. Observe the machined surfaces that do exist here, yes. The edges are, you know, you want to shave? We're all good for that. But at least they're machined enough that it cuts, moves cleanly. Didn't cut, but 
Anyway, yes, these are, are properly machined. So at this point, I would say if you're going to buy one of these, buy the Shars. I may come in at a later time and uh, deburr all those edges. No binding, no matter what position. I'm not even going to take that one apart. This thing passes. That tool post is viable. So I'm happy. I may, I'm may. i going to have one of these on my lathe today. That one, the Shars Zero. And by the way, it's marked. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. The Shars 00 or 250-000. And that's their part number. And you know what? Two thumbs way, way up. Yay! Something I don't have to strip back. Impressive. Only trouble is now I can't get the handle part. <laughs> but, eh. Yep. Da -da 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 -da. Acceptable. Could have used a little, you know, they've got four gallons of oil on other parts and none on this. But that's life at times. I think it goes together like a piece, the longer section into the hand grip portion and the shorter section into the body. Let's see if I've got this in the right way. This would be if, if you were on, in fact, that's fun. As you're sitting there working on the machine, the label is on your side. Yeah, there may be a little problem back here with that, getting a post on, a tool on, because of the handle rubbing in. But And then the lock will be, position will be somewhere in here, which may or may not run into your nose. Okay, but anyway, well, so far the Shars is one. Those parts I won't be using. They're nicely made, but I won't be using them. Well, I will be using the post. But this plate I won't be using. I might find a use for that somewhere else. Anyway, okay. So let's now look at the holders themselves. We'll start with the 001. And it has a certificate. Oh my goodness, Inspector 5 again. Much better handwriting. Notice 2021, November the 8th, I assume. Or it could be the 8th of, no of uh, December, one or the other. But this is certified. And again, Let's see if it's worth taking apart and out of the package. Yep, it's worth it. Uh, uh, quite well machined, although I'd like a little larger nut here. But. So on to test number one. Does it actually go on to the holder? Again, this one is the regular turning and facing one. It's the most commonly used tool post holder in the system. Again, you know, facing off, so on and so forth. You can even hang a cutting tool in it for fa or for parting off. Got a lock washer, that's nice. So let's see here. It goes on. It adjusts for height. 
and it will lock down. And it locks up tight to the tool post. So, number one is success. Let's see, let's stack that in the, since I'm right-handed, I'll stack the stuff I'm not playing with over here on the left. Okay, so let's look at the number two tool holder. And that's this one right here. See, 250.002. And actually, the knife works better for this. This is so fun, actually getting one that's not a piece of junk. Okay, 250.002. Machining is again good. What I'm talking about in the machining, by the way, is if you'll notice, properly machined, these should be smooth, properly polished, and there should be the slightest step right there, down, which relieves it away and keeps it from contacting. And this one exhibits that as well. Sorry about bumping the, the camera there a bit. If I'm making any of you nauseous, well, sorry. Anyway, Ooh, such fun. I'm having a good time. First time I've handled one of these tool posts and had a good time. As I said, the other other four were junk, or other three were junk. Chinese junks, you know. Red sails, funky little boat thingies. Yeah. This is the difference, by the way, between the number two and the number one holders. Um, if you look... Let's see if I've got this right to the camera. There we go. If you look right here, you'll see that there's a dent here. This is used for clamping round devices. The number one tool holder is completely flat across the surface. And that's the difference between a number one and a number two. Other than that, they're completely interchangeable. The things I've learned as I've gone through this process, it's been a process, but it's been interesting. But yes, number two. Nice. Okay, on to number four. Behind door number four, we have... a box. And in said box... We have the boring ball bar holder again with a certificate. Oh, certificate. This one's well oiled because I could read through it. 11 6, so 2021, so probably November 6th. I know the rest of the world keeps that different from the US. Again, yeah, looks like this is going to be worthwhile opening up. I expect all of these are going to be worthwhile opening up. This is again your boring bar holder. It has, it comes with an insert. Depends on which size boring bar you want to use. If you want to use a bigger boring bar or a smaller one, you take the insert here in and out. And yes, this boring, or this uh, Char set was about 40%, 35 to 40% more, depending on which one you got it, than any of the straight Chinese ones, that, without, you know, the no-name ones that were sold by everybody under the sun. And clearly, the extra money is worth it, because these are more than acceptable. Now, this one's got to go on back here. Oh, great. It does go on, even with the handle far enough back to get it into the non-locked position. Good. That's one of the troubles with the cam body here in this small of a tool post. This is a, of course, these are a uh, copy of the Aloris design. And in the bigger Aloris, is this, you know, handle doesn't get in the way, but because everything is so small here, well, the, you know, things do get in the way. But yeah, great. So the boring bar will go on and off in its position, the boring bar holder. 
Excellent. Excellent. Next, we're on to the number seven holder. And this one, let me set this back over here for a second. This one is your, um, what is the seven? I've had all these apart open many times and now my brain won't work. Ah, it's cut off tool. And again, another certificate, November 2nd. So I would say virtually all this kit was put together in November, and December of uh, 2021. And this is, mind you, this holder, there are two variants available. This is the one that has the tooling or the uh, cutting bar held at four degrees. And then there's another one where it's perfectly flat. I decided on the four degree one. Yeah, personal preference. Yep, again, well worth looking at. Oil is all heck. I'm going to have enough oil to change the oil in my car when I'm done here. And again, 250007. And this will always have an app because the, the zero degree one is also a 250007. Um, the way you tell them apart, of course, is this part number here. There is a, uh, a or change in that between the zero degree one and the, the four degree one. A little bit of a sharp edge there that could stand to be deburred. Ow, even. Yeah, I'll have to deburr those. And to use these, of course, you drop your bore or your cutoff tool in and then use the set screw here, right here, to tighten up the clamp. And again, let's see if this will go on again. Normally, this goes on this side of the post. And that drops right on, although you could also use it with a variation. No, this one you couldn't. You're actually going to, unless you turn the post itself. I was going to say you could use it for a terra panning to hold a uh, cutter for terra panning, but or you'd have to you'd put it on this side, just run the post pass center, I guess, as well, and then undercut like mad the uh, cutting tool. Terra panning, if you're not familiar with it, is an interesting operation, very useful at times. Okay, so that mounts, and then to the last one, the 0010 or the uh, 25010 which is a uh, knurling tool. Yes, another certificate. These certificates are amusing, amusing as heck to me. And I would say that is November because we're now on the 13th here. And there ain't no month 13, so that pretty much says that, doesn't it? Doesn't it get it? And this is, again, a knurling tool. See the little knurly thingies and so on and so forth. This also has the option... No, well, let's get it out of the bag first. It has the option of taking another tool, but let's get it out of the bag. Out the damn spot. Yeah, there are some sharp edges on these. They are going to... They're not quite... Yeah. They could do a little better job of deburring. There's still a little, as Quinn Ducky says, a little bit on the animalistic side here in that regards. Because every edge should really be properly uh, chamfered and deburred, and they are not. And I'll probably make up another knurling tool besides this one. I, there's some of the designs I like better. But anyway, yes, it has you on know, your little knurlers, and they roll nicely. And then you have the slot here. Yeah, you know, neurally things. Neural, 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 neural. Anyway, and you have a slot here for a cut, another kind of cutting tool so that you could, for instance, mount it back here on the back side, which you'll go on to again with clamping, and use it as a backside cutting tool. Again, especially for terra panning, that not, might not be a bad use for it. Well, so, the result.
What is my feeling on this tool post as opposed to all the others I've seen? This one's acceptable. I have a tool post for my mini lathe. Yay! I had to pay a little more than I wanted. This frankly should have been, the first one it should have looked like this, but I'm happy. So, the Shars tool post is worth the money. At least, the one I got. And we would assume that Shars being a local, a U.S.-based company, will protect their name a lot better than all the people that are just mailing off, you know, or drop package shipping, the uh, cheap Chinese ones. Not that, mind you, this is still a cheap Chinese one, undoubtedly. It's just that Shars says, okay, guys, these are our standards. If you don't meet our standards, we won't buy any more from you. And then they apparently Shars on occasion actually inspects. And that's why all the little certificates so that they've got, they can go back and say, okay, inspector number five, you let something out that was not proper. Because all of these were inspected by inspector number five. Now, of course, having said that, who knows who inspector number five is? That's one of the great mysteries of life. Oh, sweet mystery of life. At last I, oh, anyway, no, that was Jeanette McDonald. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this or found it useful, please give me a like and consider giving me a, a subscribe. And boy, is this 26 minutes. Good Lord, I, I talk too much. Thank you all. I'll see you on the next video. By the way, we'll have this mounted up on my lathe and doing, be doing a little bit of cuts. But anyway, I hope you all have an excellent day. Goodbye.